G'day, it's Jay and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be reviewing this hair mannequin stand. So let's get started. So I'll just start going over some of the positives of this mannequin stand. So for starters, it is so sturdy and you can tell this um, by just how thick it is and how big and bulky. The other sort of thing, I don't know if you can see, so I'm just going to pull the camera up, but it has these metal plates and that helps it stay even more in place. Another great benefit is that you can screw it into place. So as you can see here, there's the hole and you simply just screw it in. And then you can put this through the one above. This just makes it um, a bit more safer and unlikely to fall down, which is very helpful when you're especially using heat and the stand falls down, that can be really bad. Another great thing is it can be moved sort of up and down quite easily depending on the space you have. And this is because of that metal bit down below making it a lot easier. Of course, the lower it is to the ground, the more sturdy it is. And then I'd say just the last sort of great feature of it is the top section. So we've got here the metal top and what I'll just say is this is really sturdy. Pretty much on any cheap ones you get off Amazon or eBay, they are all plastic and so um, easily can break um, and sort of don't stay in place as well or aren't made to sort of fit the groove of the mannequin as easily where this one is really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you that and I'm going to attach a mannequin to it. So. <laughs> Excuse the frizz, I did this style a week or two weeks ago, um, but I'm just going to stick this on. As you can see, it just fits in so perfectly. And I'm just going to tighten it up. And when you push down, it does not budge. Um, and that's particularly for this as well. I'll put this one up on a setting. I push down this is not budging at all now guys what I wanted to show a difference is so this was my previous mannequin stand and I might just quickly run through some of these benefits that I found on this one and why I found them so important as this one here definitely doesn't meet that same criteria okay guys so I've grabbed my old mannequin stand just to show you guys the points that I've been making so for starters this one I also got off eBay I don't remember the price so I'm gonna put it up here somewhere but this is pretty much it. it, is pretty flimsy. You can see it is metal down below, plastic up top. Um, to tighten it, you've got a screw around. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You've also got the screw here. I don't know if you can see, cause I have a black hair tie. This would not stay in place. So if I take this mannequin off and put her on, Watch her fall. Now, I'll do it up really tight. You put a little bit of pressure and say I'll tighten this up fully. Little bit of pressure. This part stays pretty well, but this part going down has been a big problem for me. It tends to slip up a lot. I need it to replace hair ties. Um, I would also like to know, just look at how much thinner it is. So this one is so sturdy. When I'm doing the hair, she barely moves at all. And really, it's probably similar to what you'd find a person. This one here, if I'm touching the hair, I don't know if you can see, but she is just wobbling. And so that is really annoying to do hairstyles with, especially if you're doing like an hour hairstyle to have the hair wobble the whole time. I've had times where it's fallen completely down or the mannequin's fallen off. Um, so definitely don't recommend this one. I'll see if I can find the link to it so you know not to get it. So what I'm quickly going to do is show you guys some of the downfalls to this mannequin stand. I would like to say I only paid $28 for it, so I expected it to have some downsides, but I figure you guys should know this before purchasing it. So for me, the biggest downfall is the different bit of rust and paint move away that has come. Um, I don't know how well you can see it in this, but it's just kind of all across it. I normally do cover it with a robe to help sort of keep it safe, but I don't know if this is from the product um, as I don't put this ever outside. It stays in the hair room. Um, but I have had this for around 10 months, so I don't know if that's sort of the general wear and tear. So I want to quickly touch on why I don't typically use the table stand ones, and I want to show you so quickly. Most of my tables 
don't actually fit these. If you have a table that this works, I used this for years back when I lived with my parents. Um, but since I sort of moved out, I haven't actually had a table that can fit one of these. I would say as well, the benefit of a stand, if you're going to do a bridal show or you're just wanting to, you know, do the hair off in a little bit of a side, it's so hard to, you know, have to have a table there. Um, or that you can't fully dress the mannequin and set sort of the scene in the background, right? So that's just for me um, why I don't typically use these ones. Um, but totally, if you like them, go for them. They are pretty sturdy. I even find the plastic ones like these pretty good. I still probably have around like maybe six of them that have come with different ones of my mannequins but yeah that's just quickly why i don't typically use them so my final verdict i really just want to quickly add that you can get mannequin stands for really like ten dollars all the way up to 250. so you are going to see a difference between that price range however for 28 dollars being very close to the bottom of the price range i really can't complain yes it is a bit bulky and it's getting a bit of rust it's not the prettiest design looking and the size adjustments are nowhere near as cool as all of the expensive 200 plus dollar ones. It does the job. And for me, when I put a robe or a dress around my mannequin and I'm doing the hair, I don't really care what the stand looks like. And that might just be me. But for me, it is definitely worth the cost. So for $28, it is sturdy. It is so much better than anything else on the market for that price. I'll leave the link down below um, as well to the cheaper one. Like I said, don't recommend getting it, but if you're on a really, really tight budget, I'll leave it down below. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, give it a thumbs up and I hope to see you on my next video. See ya. Bye.